Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from websofttutorials.com. In this tutorial, guys, I'm gonna teach you about CSS borders. As you know, that borders are used to give a border to an element. This for an example, I am H2 tag. I wanna surround this H2 tag uh, with a border, like I'm writing heading 2. Firstly, I will open it in browser. Now you can see this is heading 2 tag. Heading 2 tag. I wanna add a border to it so in order to do that we will write we firstly set its CSS we will set its border property then border colon one pixel and then solid guys solid is a style of a border I will show you firstly I will refresh now you can see a solid line of a border is appeared on the screen and the s2 tag is surrounded by this solid lines of border Guys, there are different different types of border we can apply. One was solid, it was giving the solid line, and second is dotted. Now you can see the small small dots are on the screen, and the third type is dashed. Now you can see these are dashed lines. Guys, we can also increase it, its thickness using pixel properties. Like I want 10 pixels. Now you can see the border property is thick now. I'm again setting it to one. We have already talked about solid, dashed, dotted, and then I will tell you about double. I think I have to set its size also. So now you can see the heading tag is surrounded by double border lines. After that, two properties are left. One is inset. You can see left and top border is in black color, and the bottom and right borders in little bit grayish color. The same way we can use outset now you can say it will do vice versa of inset uh, bottom and right are black and top and left are grayish, in grayish color so guys we can also set the color of board, uh, border uh, after the style of border hit a space and then enter the color which you want to give to your border so I am giving green now you can see it is in green color so if I and blue now you can see the border is in a blue color and I will set it to solid now you can see it is in blue color so enough for this tutorial guys don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching this video and let's see you in the next tutorial